We spend a lot of time examining the cultural rot in America. School shootings is a prime example. The mother of a school shooter told America, America this morning that parents need to look in, not out. Do you feel in any way responsible for the shooting? Yes, of course. Um, that is my son. So I am, as a parent, obviously willing to take responsibility for him because he can't take responsibility for himself. That's Deja Taylor, a mother, talking about her six-year-old son who shot his teacher. She says her son has severe ADHD and was suspended the week before the shooting for what she says was knocking a phone out of his teacher's hand by accident. Although she never pulled the trigger, she took ownership of her child's actions five months after the shooting. Taking ownership of anything doesn't seem to happen often anymore in America. She's charged with child neglect, faces up to six years in prison. Ralph Godby's here, former Detroit police chief. Look, we can say a lot of things about what, how she acted as a mother and the fact that a six-year-old showed up at school with a gun and on and on and on. But, boy, I, I just, I'm just i flabbergasted by anybody who is willing to take any modicum of personal responsibility anymore. You know, Leland, she's a unicorn from that standpoint. But we have to admit the bar morally is really low when taking responsibility yeah. for what you're supposed to do uh, becomes news. Uh, it's it's a sad commentary on where we are at as a country uh, relative to our, you know, views on parenting, parental responsibility. Uh, I give her so much credit for um, owning uh, her part in a teacher that could have been killed, children that could have been killed. Um, however, uh, it still doesn't ameliorate the fact that, you know, why was there a gun that that six-year-old was able to get to? And, you know, that's the question for me, and I'm sure that's the question for a lot of people. But, you know, Leland, you make an excellent point. Uh, it is newsworthy. Uh, it's just sad, and it yeah. just saddens me uh, that the bar is so low that taking accountability for something that is just a primary responsibility uh, now becomes leading news. Yeah, you make a good point also that this isn't a 16, 17, 18-year-old. This is a six-year-old who, six who got a gun. It's a, yes. there's, a, there's a very different bar in terms of the parroting involved. Yes. I, we, I, whenever something like this happens, I always go mm. back to when I was in Baltimore during the riots mm. in 2015. Yes. And there was that one mom who dragged her son out of the CVS or wherever yes. they were looting by, yes. by the ear. It's just like the greatest video. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> whenever I that, see it. And I... I'm, I, I uh, we had on earlier, I don't know if you heard him, the New Orleans uh, prosecuting attorney who, who said, we have to address how these things start yes. in the home. Uh, yes. And we're talking about, at least in Baltimore and in New Orleans, African-American communities. And I'm wondering mm -hmm. if, you talked about personal responsibility, yes. if mm -hmm. part of the cultural rot is that lack of personal responsibility mm -hmm. and being taught it and requiring it yes. might be the first step. That's a huge step because, you know, if you really want to solve a problem, Leland, you got to look at root causes. And, you know, we, we look at the results. We look at the symptoms. And we are doing a woeful job just as a country looking at, okay, what's the root cause of this? That mother in Baltimore, as, you know, controversial as that was, that showed a mother that understood that if she didn't intervene in some meaningful way, her son could very well die at the hands of police or die in a gang shooting or, or, or whatever the case may be. Uh, to see that level of interest of a parent, uh, that's what we need. Uh, you yeah. know, am I, am I endorsing corporal punishment? No, but the, the, the fervor by which that woman stood and said, not my son, that's what we need to recapture the, 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 the soul of our society and recapture our communities. Yeah, it's a, it's a great point. It really is. Um, Chief, it's good to hear you and good to see you. We always appreciate your perspective. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Leland. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.